Good evening, Annapolis. My name is Levante Santos, and tonight I want to talk to you about one of the most formidable beasts to ever walk our planet. In fact, it's been here since the time of the dinosaurs, the mighty ostrich. It's 6'8", 350 pounds, and can run from lions at an impressive 30 miles per hour. And if the lion catches it, the ostrich can deliver a powerful kick that can kill it. This bird has been underestimated for years, but tonight I think it's making a comeback. The myth is that an ostrich hides its head in the sand when it's in danger, but that's just an alternative fact. The truth <laughs> is that an ostrich is ignoring distractions and focusing on what's important. Its head isn't hiding in the sand, it's submerged to take care of its eggs, its legacy. The ostrich flees, fights, and builds for a better future. In the Chinese year of the dog, I challenge everyone to think about how you can be more like an ostrich in the year 2008 and beyond. Here's how. Live for a legacy that you are proud to leave behind. We are in the most technologically advanced time in human history, and we are saturated with social media notifications, changing technology, and evolving politics. Like ostriches, we must acknowledge and treat threats to our way of life seriously. We are being led to believe that we are better than each other based on race, economic standing, religion, gender, sexual orientation, education, zip code, and more. The truth is we're in this fight together. We are better when we talk about the issues with each other and not at each other, discussing our fears and our dreams. Because when we do that, we realize that we are not so different after all. In World War I, there was a short truce where troops stopped fighting each other and even ate together. Let's stop hurling political bullets and piercing each other with untrue notions about each other so that we can truly begin healing. In that spirit, I propose a civil truce in the United States before we destroy our legacy and our opportunity to be greater. The behavior of the ostrich can help us accomplish that goal. Just as the ostrich flees from the lion, we need to run from the urge to be intellectually lazy. It's comfortable, but dangerous. We should relentlessly discover our similarities instead of unproductively identifying our arbitrary differences. Every single time that hate enters your heart, you must run from that lion because if it catches you, then it will devour you. Do not pretend that a lion is actually a kitten. This is real life and we all have a breaking point, and one day that lion's gonna corner you and you're gonna have to fight. Maybe the lion's faster or stronger or better funded. Whatever the case, we need to face that lion relentlessly and fight it. For some of us, that lion is depression caused by social media. Our lives don't seem great in comparison to the lives that other people are pretending to have. For some, it's crippling debt. or generously unkind people in our lives or on TV. Face that line head on and know that you can beat it. Understand that every single person in this room, in Annapolis, and around the country has similar challenges, fears, hopes, and dreams for themselves and their families. Some might be saying, you know what, this line's never bothered me, I don't even care. But I would offer to you, just because you don't take an interest in the lion doesn't mean that one day the lion won't take an interest in you. <laughs> be vigilant, take an interest, and choose to care. Ultimately, all we want to do is secure our legacies and take care of our families. One of the greatest callings we have on the planet is legacy building, and we need to make it count every single day. As the ostrich focuses on their nest, I offer that we take breaks from technology and social media, understanding they were never supposed to replace our lives, but be tools in them to make them better. Now, I'm a millennial but I don't think you need to be a social media expert to say this. If you need a notification to tell you that you're on fire, my friend, you are too connected. <laughs> Log off. See, ostriches use their, their God-given talents and instincts very well. They flee, they fight, and they build legacies. Sometimes it's actually good to keep your head in the sand, to build yourself up and to build up your family. I offer that as a community, Annapolis. We flee the urge to hate, fight threats to human decency, and focus on legacy building. Like ostriches, we are unbeatable when we band together, 
in turn strengthen ourselves, our families, and our communities. Thank you.